Last night, we left Jonah where? In the well. In the well. In the well. God had told him to go to Nineveh. He went the other way. Went to Tarshish. Started to Tarshish. He never made it. And got thrown out of the boat, swallowed by a whale. That's where we're picking up tonight. Pay attention. We're going to read some scripture. There might be a quiz at the end with no points for a word. But pay attention anyway. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon dry land. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went into Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days, the city of Nineveh will be destroyed if you don't turn from your evil ways. Repent and turn and give your life to God. <coughs> so the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even unto the least of them. For word came unto the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne, and he laid his robe from him, and covered him with sackcloth, and sat in ashes. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published throughout Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, Nineveh! You guys must turn from evil ways. You must fast. No food. No drink. Your animals, cows, horses, goats, they must not eat or drink. The town will be under destruction. The decree was let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. Yea, let them turn everyone from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hands. Who can tell if God will turn and repent and turn away from His fierce anger that we perish not? So tonight, Jonah made it out of the well onto dry ground and God once again told him to go to Nineveh, but this time it was different. This time he went and he preached. And the reason that God had sent Jonah to Nineveh was because of they had turned away from God and that they were evil continually and that the whole city did anybody catch how big the city was? Anybody catch that? Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days journey and he began to enter into the city a day's journey so there was a lot of people in Nineveh a big crowd of people in Nineveh and God sent Jonah down there and he listened this time. And the thing that the thing that we find tonight too is that when Jonah preached that they should repent, that they believed God and they turned. And they proclaimed a fast. Does everybody know what it means to fast? You know what it means? No. That means you take no food, you eat nothing. And they proclaimed that they should drink nothing, even their animals. And they put on sackcloth and they sat in ashes. And it was a way to show their, uh, their repentance toward God and their humbleness toward God and how sorry they were for what they had done. So Jonah told them the truth about how they were living and how they were not living for God and how they had turned away from Him. And through the truth that was preached, uh, they believed what Jonah said and believed what God said through that and that their city was going to be overthrown if they didn't turn from God. The good news is, is that they listened. There's a lot of people that hear that message. The same message is preached today from the pulpit in every church, most churches, this church, <laughs> that repent and be saved. 
That's the message that Jonah brought to Nineveh. Repent and be saved. Only now, on this side of Jesus Christ coming, Jesus has went to the cross and he suffered on the cross and died and rose again the third day. Paid that payment for the sin that they committed in Nineveh all the way up through to the sins that you and I commit. Jesus has, has uh, paid the price for those sins. And we can repent and be saved, just like the town of Nineveh had the opportunity to repent and be saved. They heard the word preached, and they responded to it, and they repented. I, I believe that they repented and prayed for days and fasted for days. Um, the Bible don't tell us how long, but I, I think there were maybe weeks, maybe a week, 10 days. I don't know. The point is, is that they believed what God said and they turned from their ways and repented. So we'll find out tomorrow night what Jonah does in response to that, of Nineveh repenting.